Who am I? Well, that's a loaded question. I'm a daughter, a sister, a friend. I'm a young white girl from Fishers, Indiana, an affluent northeast suburb of Indianapolis, the crossroads of America. I grew up being told to accept everyone and not to judge others. But I also grew up in a bubble, the Fishers bubble to be exact, a bubble lacking in its diversity, a bubble full of people who think they understand the struggles of others, but sometimes their unintentional ignorance negates that knowledge. I don't say this as if people were mean, but they were just sometimes so self-consumed that they would be blinded by themselves, blinded by the idea that they knew everything and whatever they believed was the only truth. Not everyone was like that though. I had many friends and knew many people who were more open-minded and accepting. These were the individuals I surrounded myself with because they were honest individuals. When I was in high school, I never really realized racism in my city or at my school. As I entered my sophomore year of college at Ball State University, I was filled with excitement to take a class focused on black children's and young adult literature. This was an area of literature that I had limited experience with. And as a future writer and activist, I wanted to expand my knowledge. I wanted to rethink and question what I already knew or what I thought I knew. Now at the end of this course, I am astonished at how much I have changed as a person and an individual. I mean, there are so many amazing books out there that I had never even heard of, so many books that my mind needed to be fed. Before this class, I had never heard of and certainly never read works like One Crazy Summer, Monster, or The Skin I'm In, which are all amazing books. Where have I been, I thought. Oh yeah, I was still living in my bubble. But now that I've popped that bubble, there is so much more out there that needs to be heard, read, and seen. I've become passionate about black literature and the Black Lives Matter movement, and I wish to enrich the lives of others whom are still stuck in their bubbles with it. As with any hard topic, I did have to have a tough talk about hashtag Black Lives Matter in literature. This tough talk did end an ignorant romance of mine, but I would not change that outcome to belittle my beliefs. This class has helped me grow so much as an individual, and I hope to help others grow too.